Hello, it's Rachel. Today I'm creating an art journal page in my Moleskin sketch journal. I've just owned the page already and begin by creating the background using three shades of Paper Artsy Fresco Finish Paint. The colours I'm using are Chalk, Ice Blue and Wisteria. Once the background has dried, I decide to add stamping to this using a text stamp by Cherry Pie. I stamp this randomly over the background using Archival Ink in Blue Violet. Next, I'm taking a Heidi Swap stencil and using the heart images on this stencil with a Ranger Dabber in the colour Watermelon. To apply the paint, I opt for a piece of Ranger Cut and Dry Foam as this makes its application more controllable and reduces the risk of the paint seeping underneath the stencil. Now I'm taking some gesso and using this to fade some of the images further into the background and I do this by applying it in a diluted layer. These are Spellbinders dies which I'm going to create some heart shaped flowers as the focal images on my page. I'm using a combination of the scalloped edge hearts and also some straight edge hearts laid on top of them. The scalloped hearts that you can see here are being coloured with the same watermelon colour paint that I used on the hearts in the background and this will provide some continuity and cohesion to the page. For the stems of the heart flowers, I've chosen a die by Memory Box. This is called Frangia Bouquet, and I'm painting these with fresh lime coloured paint from the Dilusions line. Next, I'm using a stamp set by Paper Artsy. This is Jofie 13. I've selected the scallop border, which I'm stamping several times onto lightweight cardstock so that I can join them together to make a long enough border across the full page spread. I'm stamping with Versafine ink in Onyx Black as it is waterproof. Now I'm ready to collage the flower stems onto my page, and for this, I'm using Golden Matte Medium. Once this has been done, I realise that the colour combination is actually quite cold, so I want to blend some warmer tones into the background, and for this I use Paper Artsy Paint in the colour Pumpkin Soup.
These are the straight edge hearts that I intend to use as the inner part of my heart flowers. I've cut them out using old book page and paint them also with the pumpkin soup to add further warmth to the page. However, later I do decide that I don't actually like this colour and it's a little bit too bright. So I do paint over these again with a different colour as you will see shortly. Here is when I decide the colour in the centre of the hearts needs looking at. First I try lightening it with some titanium white, but since I'm still not happy with this, I then opt for a pearlescent watercolour paint by Cosmic Shimmer, which I end up liking much better. Once the painted hearts have dried, I use a micron pen to outline both the flowers and the stems. And then after this, I paint the border using a combination of the pearlescent pink cosmic shimmer paint and also the watermelon paint by Ranger and the fresh lime paint from the Dilutions line. To provide some shading, I've selected a pan pastel in the colour phthalo blue and I use this with one of the pan pastel soft applicator tools around the border, the page edges and also around the heart flowers.
This is tissue paper which I'm going to stamp some additional images onto and then collage them onto my page. The images I've chosen are two birds by Zetiology as well as a word stamp that says breathe. I then attach them to my page using golden matte medium. Now I'm taking a piece of sequin waste and I use this with some titanium white paint and a piece of Ranger cut and dry foam and I sponge this all over the background overlapping some of the focal elements to make the page look more cohesive. When I finish with this I go back to the micron pen and emphasise a few areas in the background such as some of the hearts and the circles created by the sequin waste. I then switch to a Posca pen also in black because this has a thicker nib and I add a dotted design to the heart flowers. As a final touch I decide to add some sparkle texture paste to the centre of the heart and I apply this using the same stencil that I used in the background at the start of the page. And that is the end of my project for today. I hope you enjoyed watching. As always, there is a link to all the project materials in the video description, as well as my social media links.